Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Film Geek Maniac. I am your host, Constance Miller. In this episode, I'm going to be discussing Netflix's documentary, Will and Harper, and there are going to be some mild spoilers, so if you don't want to be spoiled, turn away, but come back to this video after you've watched it, and we can talk about it in the comments below. Will and Harper documents the friendship of Harper Steele and Will Ferrell. Uh, back to when they worked together on Saturday Night Live up until the pandemic when Harper came out as a transgender female and they embark on a cross-country journey uh, to discuss life about being transgender and it's a very heartfelt documentary. One of the more poignant stops that they make on their journey is in Indianapolis, Indiana. Indiana being my home state. And they attend a basketball game. And there they meet the governor of Indiana, Eric Holcomb. And they didn't realize who he was or his stance on transgender issues, which leaves a lot to be desired. So that was kind of disheartening in a way. There is a lot of humor that's involved in this documentary. Obviously, they worked together closely on Saturday Night Live and in several other projects. And so they have a camaraderie that is based on humor. And it's evident between their banter. But Will also asks some very hard questions. And Harper has to give some really hard answers. And I found that to be tremendously fascinating and obviously it resonates with my life. And it, it was very, very touching to see how close their bond is and how they feel toward each other. There is a heavy push on, on Will notifying people from across the country no matter where they stop that Harper is transitioning and to me that was a little bit disheartening because I believe that's up to Harper to discuss and to reveal and it seems to be Will's job in this documentary to introduce Harper to everyone that she is a transgender female and it's also coupled with Will's celebrity and him being recognized no matter where they go and at points he disguises himself in costumes uh, to help alleviate that so Harper can have the spotlight. And I found that very endearing. This documentary does a good job at focusing the very intimate and raw details of a transgender life, as well as somebody who is cisgender navigating the world of transgender life as well. And I think this is a good watch for anybody who doesn't know anyone who is transgender, but it's also very good for people who do know somebody who is transgender. That is my review of Will and Harper. If you had watched this already and would like to share your opinions in the comments below, please do so. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Also, if you're inclined to help the channel grow, you can do so by following the links in the description to where you can buy me a coffee or you can visit my Amazon wishlist 
to possibly purchase something for me to review on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the views and the likes and subscribes, all that stuff. It really makes my heart happy because I really enjoy what I do here on YouTube. With all that being said, love and lights to you all.